Okay, welcome back. Uh, so, we will continue our discussion of uh, week 6. Uh, uh, this is the third module of week 6. So, as I uh, told you earlier, uh, this is uh, now we have finished uh, uh, the collection system, uh, we talked about the transportation system. Before we get into the solid waste treatment and disposal part, so, I just wanted to have a, re, a quick recap uh, or our not recap, a quick uh, uh, review or of uh, what is the status of waste management, especially the municipal solid waste management in the proposed smart cities. Because as I said, in the, uh, the course is focused on integrated solid waste management development for smart cities. So, we want to uh, be taking into the Swachh Bharat mission as well as the smart cities initiative. We want to, so the goal of this course is to help uh, the people who want to uh, develop solid waste management system. So, uh, so we, before we go into the treatment part or the disposal part, let us look at what is, what is uh, the status today. And uh, so, uh, we visited few of these uh, smart cities uh, in December uh, month, in December 2016. And uh, so, if this is the, these were the ones on the first list of 20 smart cities and then we have and we are giving you some 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 status of that again uh, if you happen to be from these cities if uh, we have made because we were just there for a few days and trying to collect information meeting people looking at that some reports we may have made some errors so if we have made any error where you see any problem feel free to correct us because uh, that's what it, it should be all about if there is some error of course we need to get it fixed before uh, uh, so, please uh, help us do that. So, let us uh, look at uh, this, uh, what, what which cities we were, which we will start try to cover here. Uh, we had, we visited actually several more than what you see on the list. Uh, we have put, we picked some of these because they kind of try to cover different part in terms of the geographical region of the country and also they have uh, based on the waste generation rate. So, as you can see over here, we have tried to follow a, uh, from a very big uh, city. Uh, which is around 4000 tons uh, per day uh, to around uh, a small city, although the last city is not really uh, because we are just focusing on NDMC. So, NDMC is a smaller area. So, New Delhi Municipal Corporation is just a smaller area. That is why you see uh, 250 uh, tons per day in, and then uh, Udaipur is actually lower than that which is 230 tons per day. Madhya Pradesh 550, sorry not Bhopal and is 550, Indore is around 1000. Uh, tons per day, Vizac 12, 1200 and then was Visakhapatnam and then Ahmedabad which is the biggest one is 4000 tons per day. So, there are and then there were several other cities we visited maybe later on we can discuss uh, those as well if we time permits uh, to do that. And then several states, Gujarat in the western part, Madhya Pradesh in the central part, Andhra in the south, Rajasthan again kind of uh, central north uh, and then Delhi uh, uh, in the north Delhi. So, we are uh, looking at some, we will be visiting some more cities uh, and then we will have some data in the northern part and as well as we are doing some work in Guwahati now. So, we will be doing, so we, we can have some several information from Guwahati maybe later on. So, so these are the cities. So, look at how, so what we did in each of this city is we visited this city and then try to understand how the waste is managed today. Our goal was to just to understand how the waste is managed and try to identify what are the so what are the problems they are facing and uh, and then try to uh, tell them that what are the solutions that potential uh, can be uh, then can be done to achieve uh, a better waste management system looking at uh, municipal solid waste management rules and all that so for the ahmedabad municipal corporation uh, it's uh, the as uh, some basic information is provided what is the area number of zones uh, number of wards, as you know, most of our cities have been divided into zones and wards. So, and uh, and then what is the solid waste tons per day, and population around 63 lakhs as on December 2016. And this is again uh, based on the census data of 2011, and then some projections uh, which uh, the municipality or the city does uh, based on the uh, the annual generation, annual growth rate. So that's and then here we will try to look at the door to door collection, what are the secondary collection they have, whether there is a transfer station or not, whether it gets uh, and then from transportation uh, it is a other or it is a transportation to the processing facility, sanitary landfill facility. So, we try to cover the different aspects of that particular city. So, it is the quick as you will see that for most of uh, for most of these information they have been we have tried to pro provide you with some photographs. 
So just to show how the things are working in that particular city. So as you can see, uh, this is again a generation of waste uh, on uh, on like a, again, if you look at uh, this is totally mixed waste. It's not source separated. So as you can see from those pictures, it's uh, lots of things like paper, plastic, uh, everything is mixed up over here. So it's a totally uh, mixed waste and uh, but the goal nowadays to have a uh, source separation. So there is a, the many, some of these uh, restaurants, uh, some of these uh, 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 like a, uh, eat, eating places, uh, they have these kind of uh, bins now where you have the green bin and the blue bin, those things are there. But in the residential areas, you see these kind of primary collection uh, where things are predominantly actually is getting mixed up where it gets a, gets a primary collection and then you have some secondary waste from the industries and other places coming in. They, they can go to the transfer station where uh, it uh, gets uh, processed a little bit and then from the transfer station it, uh, for the processing it can go for a treatment like a compost plant. Uh, it's used in a compost plant and finally uh, to disposal to a landfill. So this is how uh, this, all these pictures were taken uh, in the month of uh, uh, December of, uh, of last year in, in Ahmedabad. So you can see how the things are happening on the ground. So just to, just basically you can think about like just like a ground report before we, so of course the source separation uh, I already started but again uh, uh, it's uh, that's one area where we need to put a lot of emphasis in, in case of Ahmedabad. That's why the, so that we can come and look at these. If you look at this treatment uh, of waste right now, as you can, uh, if you look at closely, although the picture is, uh, we can, if you can zoom into the pictures or you can, if you are familiar with the waste photographs, you can see, you are seeing a lot of plastics there. All those white, 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 white pieces, there is a good chance of those film plastics that is showing up there. Uh, it's essentially, it's a compost plant, so we should, uh, we should have mostly food waste and some uh, yard waste, uh, kitchen, uh, kitchen waste and the, your garden waste, but since, uh, this uh, most of these food items these days comes in a packaging material lots of plastics are used lot of papers are used paper to certain extent is okay it will do it in a compost plant uh, not something with a high lignin content but something with a lower uh, lignin content will be really good uh, but uh, high lignin content it will not degrade but it's still it, it's a biodegradable material so it's it's okay but especially the plastics the film plastics the different types of plastics the packaging is styrofoam those actually makes uh, uh, the compost quality really bad. So that's the one area where we like uh, we need to do a lot of work in Ahmedabad in this particular area to have a good source separated garbage so that the compost quality will be better and uh, they can get good value for the compost. So uh, they, in terms of the waste collection and storage, uh, they do included a concept of door to door, uh, door and says GAT to dump since July 2009. And then waste uh, from these vehicles are transferred to the transfer station from each ward to the treatment plants. And then the project is successfully covering 100% of all residential and commercial units on all uh, 365 days of the year. So again, this uh, information has been provided to us by the municipal corporation uh, people there doing talking with us and then we were there just for a few days. So again, if there is some any information which is not correct, uh, we may have understood it wrong. We may have made some mistakes uh, in terms of data, uh, noting down the values. So we have tried our best not to, but in case there is something is wrong, do let us know if uh, you know of uh, better information from there. So uh, project is successfully covering 100% of the residential areas. More than 600 vehicles have been deployed uh, around from they start working at 7 a.m. And as you can see, some more pictures. Uh, some uh, the cart cart that is used the small vehicles so this is like a cart kind of system that's also used uh, we have a smaller vehicles uh, being used then we have uh, this uh, primary collection centers this kind of uh, like a dump trucks like the haul container again uh, things uh, which is being uh, to to haul a transfer station so things are being built up Ahmedabad actually has one of the uh, has been working on waste management for quite some time and they have a decent uh, waste management system uh, in place uh, but uh, still every every place needs uh, uh, always have some room for improvement so that's uh, not a uh, that does happen so this is some pictures of the transfer station you have uh, if uh, 
like if I can ask you this question, like what is what is this? Uh, it's it's you see at many of the transfer station or at a landfill site. That's your scale house. That's where you can see a truck, and the trucks are get weighed. So even at the landfill site, um, once the truck comes in, uh, it will get weighed, and then when the truck comes out, it will be weighed again. So the difference of the two weights gives us the weight of the garbage. So truck full going in, uh, it's weighed truck coming out uh, empty, it's weighed again and the difference will give you uh, the weight of uh, the material in the truck. So that's, uh, uh, that's uh, in terms of um, uh, how the weight is calculated and how they will be billed uh, for uh, billing purposes. Some other pictures of the transfer station, things are being monitored on the computer. Uh, these days there are a lot of uh, automation as well. So things are done using a SCADA system and another system. Then some trucks pictures, some of the vehicle pictures and the transfer station, how it looks like from outside. So it's pretty, it's getting towards a modern uh, facility. It's again, uh, it's a work in progress, a lot of work needs to be done, but things are improving uh, for a modern uh, facility. Now at the dump site uh, where uh, we, they do have a dump site, which they are planning to actually close it down. If I remember correctly, that's called Piranha dump site. Yeah, again, uh, it's they are trying to close this down, but at the dump site, as you can see, there is they are tra they are trying to control the methane gas. So that's another uh, uh, issues they have, where you can even see some like a fire kind of situation, uh, where uh, things are things do catch fire, and uh, so let's see, you can see some like a fire like situation. So the fire is being trying to be controlled, and then again, some uh, they are trying to control the fire, dust, smoke, and all that. So again, people working on this particular landfill has to have a proper air pollution control, uh, uh, like a mask and all that, uh, which sometimes you don't see that happening. So, but they are there are cases of where they have to con try to control this methane, uh, which is uh, uh, get catches fire from time to time. Then, in terms of the disposal of waste, uh, in terms of uh, is still at the like old landfill. You can see the garbage gar like basically everywhere. It's totally mixed, totally heterogeneous. And uh, this is such a beautiful picture. You can see some birds, you can see a sun, but here if you come here, you see kind of garbage. So that's, uh, uh, we have like natural scenery has been uh, uh, kind of, this garbage makes that picture looks bad actually. But hey, what, what uh, that's the smell of money, isn't it? So that's uh, garbage business is a, is a very profitable business. So if you come here, if you look at this particular picture, here if uh, in this uh, you see some uh, people sitting there trying to uh, collect, they are basically there to collect some recyclables. So that's what the rack pickers, uh, those, uh, they need to be incorporated as well in terms of uh, waste management decision, a waste management plan because they, this is their livelihood. So, and uh, we have to somehow get them from this informal sector to a formal sector. Maybe they could be the workers at the transfer station. They could be workers at the, at the material recycling facility. And uh, as part of the Skill India mission that the government is uh, working on right now, they, their skills can be upgraded, they can be, and then they need to have knowledge, especially is where why this uh, waste management needs to move from this informal sector to the formal sector. Uh, the risk uh, that's because uh, in the informal sector as well, they are working with the garbage, there is no pollution, there is no personal protect, protection, there is no environmental health and safety regulations they are following and they are getting sick and many of them actually die very young or they are uh, uh, sick most of their life. So to, to, we have to educate, educate them. Once we get them on board, they could be a good worker uh, in it because they have been working with this kind of uh, material for quite some time. So they will be a good, uh, once with the Skill India and other similar programs, if they are skilled enough, uh, they are made skilled enough, they can, op, they can work at the transfer station or at the MRF uh, material recycling facility. So this is where you see the social angle as well. So there is a social angle of, uh, uh, of uh, the waste management, which you see in the picture here. And then they are trying to have a green waste processing, where uh, green waste is uh, collected separately. If you can take this food waste separately or the yard waste or the waste from uh, 
temples and other stuff and then it's uh, basically processed as a compost. So it's like a mini compost plant just looking at the green waste. Again, it's a source separated waste. So they are trying to take the waste, walk through different processes, uh, mix it, uh, do some curing, do some, let the waste degrade. Finally, they screen and then uh, after screening, the good product is uh, being sold off. Uh, the product is being sold off and they can make money out of that as well. So that's another uh, thing that is going on at, uh, at Ahmedabad. So let's, then uh, in terms of there are several companies who are working on it. Uh, there is a S Excel Industries, Baruch Enviro, en en Enviro Engineers Limited, Creative Eco Recycle Private Limited and they work with different tons, uh, different amount of tonnage. They are making some compost, they are also making refused direct fuel and uh, they have on uh, mode of this uh, no tipping fee. So that is uh, the, I would say where we need to work on, we need to have some tipping fee. Uh, so that is, uh, but they have no, no tipping fee. It works on uh, design, build, operate and uh, transfer later on that particular mode and it has been working for last uh, several years. So this is uh, kind of, uh, it has been working for last six, seven, nearly seven years, more than seven years now. So that is um, how the waste processing is being done using composting for organic fraction of the waste. For the organic fraction of the waste, this is uh, what is being done in, uh, in Ahmedabad. For, but this is again not if you think about 4,000 tons per day and uh, if you take around nearly 50 to 60 percent as the uh, food waste or the organic waste, so if you just pick even 50 percent, 4,000, 50 percent is 2,000 tons per day. If you add the uh, capacity of these three, that is we have what, 300, 250 is 400. So it is 950 tons per day, it is still 50 percent, less than 50 percent. So we need more than from like a double the capacity of what they, these three are providing in terms just to manage the uh, composting or manage the uh, compostable material. It does not have to be composting, it could be anaerobic digester or whatever depending on what will work for that city. Uh, but uh, again, uh, this is uh, it's more investment is needed in this side to make it uh, to take care of entire uh, organic fraction that is produced in the city. Sanitary landfill is uh, being developed, uh, it's a, it will be a lined facility with a leachate collection system, with a gas collection system and all that. So and then leachate treatment system as well. So for inert disposal uh, as per MSW management rules 2016, anything which can be uh, treated or which is a biodegradable should not go to the landfill. Landfill is for inert material and also uh, if something which could be combusted, if the city has a combustor, city has a waste to energy plant, it should essentially go there and maybe the residual from the combustion plant may come to the landfill. So but uh, there is, uh, the, we, when it comes to the landfill, we do need a inert, uh, we, sorry, we do need a sanitary landfill. When we say sanitary landfill, we will talk about landfill towards the end, uh, towards maybe eighth, eighth week and then no, wait, towards the end of eighth week. Uh, but uh, landfill is essentially a highly engineered structure where it has a leachate control, where it has a gas control and all those things need to happen uh, in the landfill here as well. So Exxon plan what the city is thinking in terms of uh, future, they have a zero waste Ahmedabad by 2031. When we say zero waste is essentially not does not really mean zero zero, it means reduction in the waste quantity because you cannot have no waste being produced because uh, there will always be some waste which needs uh, to be treated, uh, which uh, sorry, which needs to be disposed. So think about if you set up a compost plant, even in the compost plant you will have some rejects. If you set up a waste to energy plant, even at the waste to energy plant you will have the fly ash and the, and the bottom ash that is coming out. If you manage the fly ash uh, in bricks or uh, cement and other stuff, even say 100% of the fly ash is gone, then you have the bottom ash. Even if you take the different fractions of bottom ash and then try to use it as a partial substitute for road construction is still you will have some fraction which needs disposal in a landfill. That is where most of the western European countries are. They have actually brought down the landfilling to some, some, some places even to down to even few like less than 10 percent. But uh, still they do need a landfill. So we do need a in landfill for our inerts to go. Initially it will be a big volume but like gradually our goal would be to reduce the volume going into the landfill. Then there are Swachhata Jan model, waste segregation and source is being taught, inclusion of waste pickers in the mainstream that we talked about. 
Salad of uh, setting up a solid waste recycling center, which is essentially material recycling facility and scientific closure of uh, existing Piranha dump site. That is what uh, they are trying to do as well. And then in, they are trying to implement waste to energy technique for the treatment of waste uh, where uh, those uh, things they are trying to do. So, that is kind of a summary of what is being done in Ahmedabad. So, so again in Ahmedabad contest, uh, it is one of the actually I would say the better examples. So, one of the good one, goods uh, waste management systems uh, in uh, in in the country. Although it's still, I think, in the collection side and other stuff, it needs improvement because, uh, like, I, I go to Ahmedabad quite frequently, and then I, I have seen garbages on the side of the road and all that. So that needs to improve. Things are improving, but uh, things have to uh, even improve further to make it a really a smart city. And then uh, they should look at uh, since the compost. Uh, I am not really like a personally I have always have uh, very much worried about the compost market because uh, if the compost you are not able to sell then the compost plant actually becomes different. So, it is it is very very critical for us to uh, to do that market assessment uh, before we go for a big like a compost plant. So, ok. So, that is uh, from the comp from the Ahmedabad let us now move to Vizag. So, Visakhapatnam. So, again uh, Visakhapatnam area is 534 square meters, number of zone is 6, ward is 772, solid waste they produce is around 1200 tons per day, population is around 63 lakhs as on December 2016. So, here again uh, we have tried to look at uh, all these different aspects, so door to door, secondary collection, transfer station and all that. So, if you uh, look at uh, waste management flow for the GVMC which is the uh, uh, like a uh, for the Vizac Municipal Corporation. So, you have the households uh, where things are mostly done using tricycle from the households. Uh, it is a tricycles or push carts which uh, carries that, it takes to the open points which is essentially the secondary uh, uh, second, uh, like a primary collection center or the or, or, or secondary collection center. And then you have the street sweeping and the drain cleaning that well barrows and push carts, they took it to the dumper pleasure market. We have the dumper bins, commercial and hotels, we have the mini trucks, mini bulk generators, you have some tractors, strippers and all that. And then biomedical waste, biomedical waste is not part of the municipal solid waste, so we will not worry too much about that. But uh, biomedical waste is incinerated at Maridi, which is at uh, Mari Kawasal, Kawa Lhasa. And then, uh, so this is. Uh, and this is at the same place so where uh, the, they have the disposal site or the compost yard. So, all the facilities seems to be at one particular uh, uh, particular location. So, from uh, this primary collection points it goes to a uh, like a uh, goes to like a vehicles uh, where it gets uh, collected and then it goes to transfer station then from the transfer station it, it can uh, go to the big landfill or big waste disposal center. So, this is uh, how things works uh, in uh, in the Wysak city in terms of the waste management. Uh, these are the different components that they have. So, there are some pictures uh, of uh, the waste being collected in Wysak. Uh, as you can see there is some door to door collection, uh, there are some waste segregation at source, there is some uh, the, you see some collection crew going around and trying to collect the garbage and then you have the commercial yard. So, there is as you can see there are uh, uh, this is how the waste is being collected. Of course, uh, some of these bins and other stuff probably needs improvement where it can be made little, look a little bit more modern and same thing with uh, over here. Uh, what happens uh, if part of the garbage just fails up on the road, who is responsible for that? So, those things needs to be uh, sorted out a bit because there is always some sort of uh, uh, like uh, issues going around for that. So, this all this data actually came from the master plan for Vizac, uh, which is uh, done for 2000, 2011, it was done for 2021. Okay, let us go to the next slide. Uh, okay. So, in terms of uh, action plan for what they were trying to do, they are trying to do source separation of waste uh, in 6 watts as pilot project. Uh, emphasis is on mechanism of garbage handling, how to handle the garbage in terms of the source separation. Door to door waste collection was started in 2 watts from each zone. Uh, regular sweeping like a night sweeping of the main road and drain cleaning, new landfill uh, is, uh, is, is being done. They do not have a uh, scientific landfill and that is what their new landfill sites are being developed. So, still the sites are being developed and then they need to have a landfill uh, like engineered landfill facility 
then they have a development of waste to energy plant is uh, being talked of talked about as well uh, the collaboration of the jindal group bio mining is uh, is is uh, kind of uh, being talked around as well uh, with uh, koromandal group is in is in, is interested recently we heard even i think they have backed out uh, now but i'm not 100% sure so but there are uh, so this these are some of the stuff that they are thinking about in terms of the solid waste management 2016 rules and also as part of the smart city initiative uh, that they are uh, they are working on so it's a lot of a uh, lot of activities that needs to happen in uh, in wisac in uh, coming uh, years so you have uh, like a different uh, like action plan and other things going around uh, for, for for the for the city so and so next is uh, let's let's look at indore indore again uh, it's uh, got i think it's got a prize recently on uh, that swachhata purashkar uh, what i have heard and uh, while we were discussing with people in indore indore uh, had some really uh, uh, tough uh, in the situation in terms of uh, waste management until few years back so if you look at although indore got the award because the people have it was people driven award and so indore had improved a lot since the situation was really not that good at all so even with little bit of improvement the improvement looks much substantial because you you can see the improvement once you are already at 90% going from 90 to 100% is always very difficult and then if you make those incremental improvement from 90 to 92 94% it's not that visible as well but once you are at the lower safe uh, and then you kind of make a jump by doing some some things which is uh, really good then people uh, people uh, do appreciate and people do uh, up like a that registers people's mind very quickly so that's kind of something similar situation of uh, of of uh, indore so here in indore uh, the again uh, around 19 lakhs population uh, 1000 tons per day 70 to 75% is the waste collection so means around 30% waste is not collected and then uh, out of the waste collected around 25 to 30% is processed rest is just going to open dump so there is a door to door collection secondary collection transportation there is transfer station processing and open dumping of the landfill open dumping at the landfill or so called uh, like an open dumping at the dump site we should basically say it so this is how things work in indore uh, in terms of the waste management based on our uh, trip over there so indore municipal corporation uh, they do have a central workshop for uh, operation and maintenance of the vehicle they also have a training and learning center Uh, by municipal corporation for creating awareness uh, among the citizens so that's kind of uh, a good uh, initiative i would say uh, as i think i mentioned this to earlier as well most of the western cities uh, even in a city as a small as 200000 people they do have a small team like a people uh, with two members or sometimes three members dedicated to waste management education for the common people because to if you really want to get the source separation done in a realist in a good way and then you need to invest money in terms of uh, uh, learning that you need to provide uh, to all these uh, house owners or household owners uh, in terms of separating the garbage and all that so that's they have investing in training and learning center and then they do have workshop for uh, uh, for the maintenance of the vehicle and they also took a steps towards door to door collection uh, so as part of the program solid waste is creating awareness among the city and right now the waste collected uh, is disposed as uh, at uh, dev guradia trenching ground which is uh, around 18 km away from the indore city uh, but uh, there are uh, they are in collaboration with some private organizations to plan into start up source segregation for residential groups and welfare associations so that's they are trying to uh, do some sort of uh, uh, like a waste co- collection so they have to do lot of uh, education and all that in all all these places in all these residential areas and welfare association areas so but they are working on uh, on this aspect so in terms of uh, trying to implement uh, solid waste management rule so that's uh, in terms of the in in the our municipal corporation then uh, bhopal uh, bhopal again uh, it's in uh, bhopal madhya pradesh area is 258 uh, square meters number of zone is 14 watts is 66 solid waste is 550 tons per day population is 14 lakhs 
So here again, uh, if you look at, uh, again, it's an open dumping, which is happening in most of the places. So waste management system, you have this uh, different uh, trucks have come in, trucks with different compartments have also come in. And then uh, there are some older dustbins that are still being used. There is some, uh, uh, like in terms of uh, treatment systems are being proposed. And then you have uh, uh, like a big trucks carrying around the garbage from one location to another location. This truck, as you can see on the back, has that uh, compactor as well. So it uh, does compact the garbage uh, while, uh, it's, uh, while it does the collection system. So that's uh, in terms of uh, just some pictures of things what is happening in uh, Bhopal. So in terms of what they are trying to do for solid waste management rule 2016, they are looking at uh, cluster based solid waste management system and development of collection and transfer of waste. So they have to do all those math calculation that we have talked about uh, in the last video and the video before that. Then, uh, so waste uh, processing plant uh, has to be commissioned and uh, run by MP Agro State Organization to develop biofertilizer. So that's uh, some many people are going for that, especially with that uh, new subsidy. So they are trying to have a uh, biofertilizer uh, with around 100, 100 metric tons per day. So this biomethanation plant is under construction uh, at the market yard. So they are working on it. Then they have a stationary landfill is being developed. Uh, is uh, so again sedentary landfill is being developed here as well so that's uh, so that's uh, in uh, in terms of uh, bhopal the next we have is udaipur again uh, similar uh, similar scenario where we have uh, certain uh, zones number of wards population is given we looked at the, all these door to door collection here also there is an open dumping so street sweeping secondary collection uh, secondary bins, you, see, you can see the bins condition as well, dump yard, comp compactor truck, double bin lifters, so all those things are there. So here is that they are trying to do door to door collection and source operation, their regular sweeping and drain cleaning is, uh, as is done as the city is a tourist place. The UMC is association with Hindustan Jing is planning to start up composting and waste to energy plants. Emphasis is being laid on mechan mechanization of garbage handling, so make it more and more mechanized. Uh, so that's where they are in emphasizing on. So again, depends on where you are, different cities have different uh, priorities. So last but not the least is our NDMC, uh, New Delhi Municipal Corporation. Again, uh, population is 250 tons per day, around uh, 5 lakhs population. So we are just looking at the very central point of, uh, of uh, uh, of the land of the Delhi uh, pop landfill is around uh, 170 tons per day goes to the landfill. Composting is done for the remaining 80 tons per day. So it's uh, so that's how things are being done in uh, in uh, in Delhi. Uh, garbage is collected from door to door. And DMC is uh, uh, they started with 51 places. They make uh, they want to make a spin in an entire area. 1100 pairs of uh, litter bins have been provided. Uh, collection and transportation is uh, being done by uh, trolleys uh, along with uh, garbage uh, stations having segregation facility and then garbage will be transported in a mechanized covered vehicle to the, dis to the disposal site. The garbage shall be recycled at the disposal site by installing modern compost plant or the recycling plant. So basically uh, the solid waste management rules since requires doing composting on waste to energy plants, they are also looking at that. Disposal of horticultural waste is uh, for, through compost, uh, that's what, uh, and then they use that compost in NDMC nurseries, that's where it goes back to. So that's uh, kind of uh, in nutshell is uh, the summary of uh, this uh, six cities, uh, so where this, this, these are going to be the smart cities. So as you can, as you saw, there are certain good things happening in many of the cities. There are certain challenges that we have. Open uh, dumping is uh, still being practiced, composting is being developed, uh, compost also struggles because of the lack of source separated garbage. So all those uh, factors are there. So in the next video onwards, uh, what you will see when we start uh, from now, from this point onward, we will start getting into the treatment system and finally to the landfill chapter. So the treatment system when we start discussing, we would like to highlight again from time to time of uh, the different cities that we talked about. Like what are the problems those cities has in terms of trying to make a compost plant or trying to make an anaerobic digester? What they should do so that uh, digester will be working, it will not become a, uh, like a dead after a couple of years. So those uh, things we'll discuss in subsequent uh, videos. So with this, uh, let's close this uh, video and then thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you in next uh, video. Thank you.